A second day in a row of high COVID cases in North Carolina. This as students and teachers get back to school and Charlotte prepares to host the largest sanctioned gathering in the state. Vanessa Rufa shows us the data and explains what health officials are watching. County officials say with the RNC bringing 400 visitors to the Queen City, there will be some risks when they'll be watching the numbers afterwards. No gathering is risk free, but we have multiple layers of risk reduction that will bring the risk level into hopefully an acceptable level. And health officials say RNC delegates are arriving as county metrics are on the downswing. Mecklenburg is now averaging 120 new cases a day. At the peak, one day jumps were closer to 300. The county's infection rate is just below 7%. Statewide, a less rosy picture, though, a second day in a row with 2,000 new cases. North Carolina is now seeing a slight increase in the case jump average line, but we still need to watch a few more days to see if this is becoming a sustained trend. Meantime, in South Carolina, 41 of 46 of our counties have currently seen consecutive days and downward trajectory and South Carolina overall is classified as being in the 21 to 41 days of downward trajectory. DHEC's acting director giving the governor a promising data update. The state's average line for new daily cases has been dropping. It's now seeing a little more than 800 new cases a day over the last two weeks. Friday, Governor Henry McMaster sent this letter to DHEC, prompting the agency to put together guidelines for opening up nursing homes to more visitation. He says residents have been languishing in isolation amid the current lockdown. Speaking of nursing homes, North Carolina marked a grim milestone for its nursing home residents Friday, surpassing 1,000 COVID-related deaths. This makes up 40% of all the COVID-related deaths statewide. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.